So, as I said, friction equals mu times r, where mu is the level of roughness of the surface and r is the normal reaction. OK, so and then if you remember, the friction just only presents itself as much as it needs to. OK, so as the force increases, you'll get up to the point where the friction is at its maximum point. That's when it's on the point of moving. OK, and once the friction goes over that F max, that's when it actually starts moving uh, in the opposite direction. OK, so um, I think all I want to do here is just talk you through the first of the examples. Um, so let's just see how quickly this pops through. So we're just going to be looking at example five. So uh, I think the key bit is um, at, when we resolve horizontally, that's when the friction will come into play. And given that the normal reaction is a component of the friction, we need to know that first. So you're going to choose to resolve perpendicular to the horizontal surface first. OK, so as you can see, so we're going to resolve upwards to start with. So all of these are going to be F equals MA. All right. All of these are just uh, F equals MA. There's no acceleration. So our, so our right hand side is naught. So our forces on the left hand side are going to can cancel out. So just looking at this, the force going upwards is obviously the one in green, the normal reaction. Uh, we've got that component of P, which is um, got the two components, the pink bit going left to right and the orange bit going up. So as we resolve upwards, we want the orange component. So P sin 60, take away the weight and that equals naught. That allows us just to work out what R is, okay, in terms of uh, R in terms of p then we can go and say that, well we know that frick because this question tells us we're on the um, point of moving all right so it's limiting uh we can say that um f equals mu times r uh, mu the question tells us is 0.5 and we've just worked out what the normal reaction is in terms of p then when we go and resolve horizontally uh, we can substitute in rearrange uh, factorize to make, uh, to isolate P and then we can just um, well we're done away okay so once we've got them right at the bottom there we're just going to then divide through by what's in the bracket I ran out of space so um, apologies for this would be Wi-Fi uh, example six is just a similar one just done on the angle so I would just like us to kick off please so so as exercise 7C, two lessons to do so. Let's start off with the odd numbers, please. <laughs> 